With the restrictive nature of Regulation 28, is there enough allocation within a retirement fund to effectively use a hedge fund to benefit its members? Uh, Reg 28 limits what, a, hedge, what a, a, a retirement fund can invest into a hedge fund, and that limit is 10%. That is limited in our opinion. But to go one step further, uh, the Collective Investment Schemes Controls Act, which governs all collective investment schemes in this country up to about 2.4 trillion rands worth, does not actually talk to Regulation 28 at the moment. And what I mean by that is your typical balanced unit trust or collective investment scheme in this country is not currently allowed to use its Reg 28 allowance to invest into hedge. So on the Reg 28 side, we believe the 10% limit is limited. But on the Cisco side, we're not, uh, Cisco funds aren't even allowed to invest into hedge funds. So we very much feel constrained by that. To provide a global context to this, at $39 billion, the Harvard Endowment Fund is the largest higher education fund or endowment or fund in the world. In recent times, it's actually doubled its uh, exposure to hedge funds. And now its hedge fund exposure sits at about a third of its total exposure to other asset classes. While hedge fund exposure of other US endowments isn't quite as high as this, it still represents a, a, a massive portion or, or, or a great deal of exposure to hedge funds.